The Nintendo Switch is my favorite console this half-step generations of consoles, right? And 2018 has finally come. It's many Nintendo franchises that didn't get a sequel for a very long time. But the real question is, is Kid Icarus Uprising the sequel or Kid Icarus 2 possible for the Nintendo Switch? This is Stock Gamer 007 and today I'm here to answer that question but in the comment section below I would love if you can answer the title of this video and what games Nintendo have in store for us in the future so let's get started what are the setbacks Kid Icarus Uprising was an amazing game for the Nintendo 3DS having an 83 on Metacritic to this day and the only problem reviewers really had is the game controls. Although Kid Icarus Uprising have great reviews, but many people didn't bought Kid Icarus Uprising for some strange reason, but I might have a reason for this. Kid Icarus Uprising was released at March 22nd, 2012, and it was released when the 3DS sales was really bad. At the time, people thought that the 3DS was gonna flop and it wasn't gonna be a successful system. And even Nintendo have to apologize by releasing the Nintendo 3DS ambassador program from people that bought the 3DS before the price drop. It was a dark time for the 3DS and Kid Icarus Uprising released at a bad time. Although Kid Icarus Uprising had great reviews, no one was really watching the 3DS at all. So many people just skipped a great gem in the 3DS library. Even when the 3DS started picking up steam when Pokemon X and Y was announced, many people just forgot about Kid Icarus Uprising and only the newer games like Fire Emblem Awakening or the packing games such as Super Mario 3D Land got start picking up sales because obviously 3D Land was a packing and it was easier to sell and Fire Emblem Awakening released a month after the announcement of Pokemon right X and Y and Fire Emblem Awakening did very well because most of the people from the DS moved and say, well, I'm going to buy a 3DS a little bit early so I could get Pokemon X and Y when it released. And a lot of people just said, oh, Awakening looks like a great game. We got a really great reviews. They picked it up and it saved the Fire Emblem franchise. Nintendo might not return to Kid Icarus for a while because of its low sales. It's almost like Pokemon determines when other 3DS games start to sell or any console matter of fact. The second setback is that the director of Kid Icarus Uprising and also the Super Smash Bros. director Sakurai, sorry I cannot pronounce his first name, uh, but he stated that if by lasting universe you mean to ask if there's a sequel, the answer is no. The creator denied making a sequel at 2012 and but Many fans know that Sakurai, the director of Smash Bros, don't like making the same game too long, right? Because I think he made Kirby and he moved on from Kirby. He even said that it might take another 25 years for another person to make another Kid Icarus game. So it might not be for a long time based on what happened in 2012 what he said in an interview he could be joking we don't know the last setback is not really a setback but what they need to approve with the game where or a sequel if Kid Icarus did come to the switch or the sequel comes to the switch they would have to modernize the gameplay style so make bigger maps longer flight stages well, a better, a better uh, mission structure. It would be cool if they could have make an open world and seamless, but um, my hopes are not really that high, but they could do that. Um, Kid Icarus Uprising 2 would need a whole new original story, and I hope that Miyamoto don't even go close to this game. And he will just probably just remake the original story. But anyway, I'm just getting a little sidetracked. Um, the stylist gameplay needs to disappear. And they need to make a new modernized gameplay style with the 3DS Circle Pad Pro version of the gameplay style. Or just make a completely new gameplay style um, with that. Just make the game more seamless without using the touch screen for gameplay. So we could just play the game in dot mode. What is the possibility of a Kid Icarus Uprising sequel? Kid Icarus Uprising 2 does have a couple of setbacks, but these setbacks were made in 2012 after Kid Icarus Uprising sales wasn't looking too good. I even heard 
that the developers of Kid Icarus Uprising um, Studio closed down. And I think it was Project Sora, many, um, 2012. So all these setbacks were created in 2012. We don't even need the original creators to make an, a sequel of Kid Icarus. It's been like six years. And since they say that a sequel is not happening and Nintendo could just get a new developer, a new director for this new Kid Icarus sequel. Anyways, fans know Nintendo is holding Sakurai hostage to make Super Smash Bros. anyway. So please, Nintendo, hold them back a little longer. I bet you thought I was going to say set him free, but Smash Bros. wouldn't be the same without him. So that's why we need a different director. We can't, we need him to be focused on Smash Bros. all the time, right? But anyway, I'm getting a little sidetracked. But it's possible that they started development when we heard that the NX was being developed. So three years of development cycle is a decent amount of time to make a sequel. I, I'm going to butcher this again. It's Yoshikami Kuzumi say non-traditional Nintendo IPs are bound for the Switch in 2018. And Kid Icarus Uprising is a non-traditional IP. And also F-Zero and many other franchises. But anyway, this video is about Kid Icarus Uprising 2 and the possibility of it. Also, there isn't a lot of first party games announced for Nintendo Switch for 2018. So it's possible that Nintendo could announce a sequel of Kid Icarus Uprising. So the chances are really high to get Kid Icarus Uprising 2 and all non-traditional IPs for Nintendo. And we have to keep an open mind and we probably get a Kid Icarus Uprising 2. Opinions and Conclusions. Kid Icarus Uprising, a second game would be my dream Nintendo sequel. And it's a high possibility of that happening in 2018. It's not only a Kid Icarus sequel that's possible, but many forgotten franchises such as Golden Sun, that would be my dream Nintendo RPG sequel, Advance Wars, F-Zero, and Punch-Out. I would love if they announced any forgotten Nintendo IP in the modern era, when I mean modern era, I mean 1080p era or 720p era, HD era. But Kid Icarus by far would be the most hype sequel for me. I would be so screaming for that game. And I make so many hype videos for this one game. This would be the game. Other than Golden Sun. But that's another story. Kid Icarus Uprising is my favorite non-Pokemon game on Nintendo 3DS. I love its amazing story with its take on the Greek gods and the funny characters, even the villains are funny and it, they should translate to the sequel. A Kid Icarus game that, that's not funny is not a Kid Icarus game anymore. You need to be funny and need to make me laugh throughout the whole game. The controls is unique but I believe that the game is better without it. And I love the level design, but the controls hurt the level design in so many times when I was playing the game. I love Kid Icarus Uprising, but I could never play it for long hours because of its control style with the stylus. After like, like an hour or two, my hands would get sore and I have to put it down. And also the 3D. My 3D, my eyes would hurt and my hands would hurt because when it first came out, I was playing with the 3D and it was the worst ex uh, mistake I ever did in my life playing with 3D on. But now I don't play with 3D at all on my 3DS. But anyway, that defines the point. Um, the, the best thing they could do with the sequel is to remove the, the, the stylus controls. I'm not saying the controls were bad, it's just the worst thing about the game. I would love if the Kid Icarus Uprising sequel had a 100% anime art style with full anime cutscenes. I love if they used 3D anime art just like Persona 5 did because the conversations with the characters in Kid Icarus Uprising was an anime art style. So you could just make the whole game anime because I feel like the anime art style fit the Kid Icarus world. I would love in the Kid Icarus Uprising sequel that they improved the online of Kid Icarus. Remember that online that no one really played and the servers were empty for a long time since the launch? We need the online to be approved so we could play against different players. It would be amazing if they could approve on the Kid Icarus Uprising online formula that you collect gear inside the story and you just use it online. Perfect. Customize your character, different armor, all different weapons, different cosmetics, just a perfect online. I would love it if they could do that. 
Uh, and many people didn't really play the online, and the story mode was the best thing about the game. But just flush out the online and make it this best, one of the best things of Kid Icarus. You know, that's what I believe. Anyways, all I hope is that Sakurai said in the interview in 2012 was a joke, saying it might take another 25 years for a sequel. I hope Nintendo gets another director so Kid Icarus could never be a Nintendo lost IP ever again.